So we got a lot of people out there in the universe or in particular in this country that's trying to make a buck off of the coronavirus. Uh, you had a guy in Tennessee who bought 18,000 bottles of hand sanitizer and went on Amazon and was trying to sell the hand sanitizer. A lot of that he bought from the Dollar Tree for anywhere from seven to 12 to 25. He had one posting even for $70. And you get people doing similar things with toilet paper and, and, and napkins and food and this and that. Now, ethically, I think the guy with the hand sanitizer is a douchebag. Do I think he's wrong for doing that? Eh, that, that could be debated. That could be debated. Uh, personally, I don't see anything truly wrong other than he is a scumbag. Simply for the fact that if you're too stupid to figure out how to make your own hand sanitizer, I can't help you. Because even though there is no bottles of hand sanitizer in that area, let's just say he bought all the hand sanitizer in the area. If you're too stupid to figure out to go online and just to say, huh, I wonder how I can make my own hand sanitizer. Maybe you don't deserve to be on this planet. Now... I was talking to a friend on a phone a couple minutes ago and I made an analogy and she was very upset about the guy with the hand sanitizer. I told her this. I said, if a guy wants to go to Walmart, go to Costco, go to Sam's Club, BJ's, whatever store you want to go to get the toilet paper, right? Because a lot of stores now, they have a two package limit. So let's say I want to go to Walmart and I buy two packages of toilet paper, right? Let's say they're $8 each for six rolls, okay? If I take the package of toilet paper that I have for $8 and I turn it around and I put it on Amazon and I sell it for $50, okay? That's okay, guys. That's fine. You could go ahead and pay $50 if you're stupid, for that toilet paper. And there's a lot of people out there that make damn good money. There's people that make three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year. And we don't talk to them because you know they got money and we're all broke. Now, if that man wants to pay fifty dollars, even a hundred dollars, you just mark that thing up about seven, eight hundred percent, go ahead and buy it. I'm gonna tell you like this: you know, this coronavirus, I still believe it is out of whack. When Obama was the president, H1N1 killed almost 13,000 people. Nobody's talking about that, but everyone's talking about this, I, I feel, because Trump is in office. I, I think it's overblown. I think the other side of the aisle, I think the Dems literally want people to die. You, you, can't, you can't vote for Democrat when they literally, they, they're hoping for a, a catastrophe in this country. But let me say this, going back to the toilet paper. And I mean when I say this. Let's say you don't have any toilet paper. And let's say I got the toilet paper and I'm selling rolls for $20 and you don't have the money. So you're like, fuck, I don't have no toilet paper. If you're so fucking stupid and dumb that you can't figure out in your pea brain what you can do in lieu of toilet paper to survive, you, my friend, do not belong on planet Earth.